Good afternoon, my classy people. It's Saturday night. It's under the lights. Turfway Park, the Jeff Ruby Grade 3 Derby Prep Race for sure. As always, folks, my name is Wayne Bolden. It's hump day. It's Wednesday. And, of course, we're having a bunch of fun. Hey, turn your closed captions on for us. Hey, before we get going, want to send a shout-out to one of our viewers. He sent a very nice message. Hey, Paul. Paul Carpenter, I kind of might be messing his last name up, but Paul is a, a listener and he lives far away from the track and those type of things and he loves uh, racing and, and wanted to give him a shout out and to uh, Nolan Rogers who uh, uh, made a very nice comment to Paul. So again, very classy on, on Nolan's part and a shout out to my boy out there, Mr. Paul. Well, 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 tip sheets available this weekend. Hey, we got the Dubai going on, a uh, UAE, uh, Turfway Park, Derby Prep, and of course, uh, Fairground, Louisiana Derby. Big weekend. Email me, speedking24 at yahoo.com. Get it in quick. Tip sheets. All states, 15 bucks. Well, Turfway Park, of course, uh, Derby Prep Race is the Jeff Ruby, Grade 3 on the synthetic, 100 points, 40 points, 20 points, 10, 5, like that. And, of course, everybody knows that Kentucky is my favorite circuit to play, and uh, my favorite track is Turfway Park and uh, Ellis Park. Why? I still have no idea why. But anything goes at Turfway Park. I mean, anything goes, right? And I'm a horizontal player, so I go deep in races. I hit beautiful pick threes, fours, five, and sixes, all that stuff. But uh, again, uh, let's dive into the Jeff Ruby. Of course, there's a bunch of points on the line for a derby prep. The boys are back in town, and everybody's derby dreaming. And I'm throwing the favorite right off the ticket. No, you're not. Major dude, again, I get it. But I'm not taking the favor at Turfway Park. I mean, I'm going to have some fun at my, at my track that I love, of course. And let's dive right in. And uh, it's a full field of 12 on uh, synthetic over there, about 625 in Florence, Kentucky. I'm going right outside, y'all. This is going to be my top pick, the number 10, two fills. Well, don't get mad at me. Two fills has three wins from seven starts. Let me see you shake a stick at that. One second, one third. Well, this one's by hard spun on the back end by General Quarters. Ravelli, Mr. Larry Ravelli's doing the conditioning. And we got Loveberry in the arms. Well, I mean, this is a nice cold. I mean, the fact that the horse is in the tin hole doesn't affect me because he's got enough speed to sit in the catbird seat for sure. Uh, break him, you know, probably behind the number four and the number five in here respectfully. And maybe even the number 11. So I figured, you know, the number 10, two fills should be sitting fourth or fifth going into the first turn, and Mr. Loveberry should be able to push the button and circle these for sure. I like to feel. Comes out of the Risen Star on February 18th, some 35 days ago, ran third behind Angels of Emperor, and that horse that's in the Louisiana Derby, the Sun Thunder, for sure. Two fills didn't disgrace. Speed figures are good. The pace numbers are good. I got Loveberry. What else more? I'm hoping for a square price, five to one or better on two fills. And he should be able. Now, the horse has never uh, run on a synthetic. That's always tricky. You know, the horse is going from the dirt, obviously, in seven starts to uh, synthetic. And uh, the one thing I do love, this horse don't run on Lasix. And, of course, you know there's no Lasix in these here derby prep races for sure. I mean, horses that run well on Lasix and then have to come off, you don't know how they're going to run. So, again, two fill never ran on Lasix. So, I know that's okay in that respect. The question is, will it take to the synthetic? I don't see why not being by hard spun and Ravelli's clicking at 25% him and love barrier 23% together and again I like it I love the pace numbers I love the speed figures on this horse for sure now there you go okay now my second pick well 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 I want to go right on to the number eight horse congruent well congruent well it's Sonny Leon Mrs. Leon's son that's right the derby winning Sonny Leon put some respect on Sonny's name the number eight congruent we had him last time at 16 to 1 at beautiful Turfway Park right again the horse ran into John Battaglia stakes on 
um, uh, March 4th, uh, coming back in 21 days. I ain't crazy about that. 150,000. Heard the beautiful speed figure. And the horse should have something to run into. There should be a lively pace up front for sure. Uh, see the number four horse, fantastic again, and uh, Maker's Candy, right? But again, I'm going to use Congruent to be picking them up and laying them down, coming for home as they all spread across the track at Turfway Park in Florence, Kentucky. That's going to be our second pick in the Jeff Ruby, the number eight, Congruent, with Sonny Leon, the Derby winning jock. Sonny Leon. Now you said, well, who's your third pick? Well, my third pick is going to go right to Maker's Candy, trained by Money Making Mike, Mike Maker Making Money. Not only is Mike Maker Making Money, but the number four horse is Maker's Candy. Mike is making candy, and it might be sweet because this one's going to be on the lead, y'all, for sure. The number five horse, uh, Maker's Candy by Twirling Candy, one of my favorite sires on the back end by... Bluegrass Cat. Money making Mike, y'all. Mike Maker. Y'all know the deal, right? Got Respley. I don't know what that's all about, but Respley came in to ride this one. This one's riding a two-game winning streak. Went from a maiden uh, win on January 28th to a stakes uh, win, the, Gar uh, the uh, Gander Stakes. Uh, at beautiful Aqueduct, won, won both of these races over the uh, dirt course, back to back. Now back in 28 days, this horse looks like he's the speed of the race and should get to the front. The number five, Maker's Candy, I put nothing by Mike Maker, nothing. Okay, and this one should be on the, on the lead, and I'm gonna go ahead and make Maker's Candy our third pick. And you say, well, who's going to be next? Well, I'm throwing the favor out, Major Dude. No, you didn't. I'm throwing him out. Right? Now, I mean, again, I'm being cute here, of course. But I'm going to go right again to the number four horse, uh, Fantastic Again. Well, Fantastic Again is Wesley Ward and all his fast horses, right? Wesley Ward, and he's got that boy, Ger Ger Gerard Corrales, in the arms, right? Who just flat out owns Turfway Park. Well, the number four, Fantastic Again, has three wins from five starts. This horse tiptoed across t uh, Turfway Park on January 21st, some 63 days ago, in the uh, Leo Tussis Stakes, and won by three lifts with Corrales in the arms, and two back in an allowance as a two-year-old on December 2nd, won that one gate to wire. Now he's back uh, in 63 days. It is Wesley Ward. We know what he does. We know his horses are fast and this horse fantastic again will be sitting in the catbird if not vying for the lead with our uh, uh, third pick uh, makers candy okay so the four and five are going to be motoring out the gate so don't be surprised if they run around the racetrack uh, one two uh, fantastic again and makers candy so our uh, fourth pick there is surely going to be fantastic again Right, fantastic again. Now, let's get to the jits of it. Of course, I'm having a bunch of fun in the Jeff Rubies, as I always do at Turfway Park. Turfway Park is like no other track in the, in the world, okay? Anything goes at Turfway Park. I don't know why. I don't know how. It is my favorite track to play because I'm a horizontal player. And again, you know, you can get prices from 63 to 1, 99 to 1. It doesn't matter. Things just fall apart at Turfway Park all the time. Just go look. I mean, y'all know. I don't have to tell you. And again, I mean, I just can't put the favorite on top in this race because of what I know about Turfway Park. Now, let's just talk a little bit and put some respect on the favorite's name here. The number one horse, Major Dude. Major Dude is a, obviously a very nice horse. It's Todd Pletcher with his plethora of horses, right? Todd Pletcher has a just plethora of three-year-olds that are just sound, beautiful, beautiful horses this year, as well as Brad Cox. So again, Major Dude has every right to be the favorite in here, has every right to win this race. But I just can't put this horse on top, particularly across Turfway Park's uh, track. I mean, there's just no reason to take the favorite at Turfway Park. 
I mean, you got to be almost, not that he can't win, he surely can win. I mean, you made your dude, his three wins from seven starts, one second, one third, for 300000 by Bolt Dior on the back end by that talented, distorted humor. It's Pletcher clicking at 22. He brought Irad in there together at 27%. Hello, of course. Of course they're the favorite. Of course they can win the race. I mean, I'm not telling you nothing you don't know. But I don't know if I want to take an 8-5, to 7-5 to five on a horse like this that's going to be deep, deep closer across uh, Turfway Park. Uh, his pace figures are no better than anyone else, and his speed figures are no better than anyone else. Maybe a clip faster than uh, uh, some of the other top contenders in here. But this horse, let me tell you now, in seven starts, has only uh, been on the turf the last four times and on the dirt. Has been tangling with the best of the best, like Mo Strike in the Sanford Stakes, Lost Ark, of course, and has uh, ran in the Breeders' Cup turf, right? Now, for some reason, they think this horse is a turf horse, right? So again, I bet horses from turf to dirt all the time, but I don't know about from turf to synthetic, okay, for sure. Now again, I just want to give Major Dude his respect. I get it. I understand. He should be the favorite. He just doesn't got me in this spot. If he wins, would I be shocked? No, nobody will be shocked if Major Dude wins, okay? I'll be shocked that he won across Turfway Park as the favorite. Why? Because it doesn't happen. They run them over as if they were in Saratoga, you know. So I'm not using them, obviously, <clears throat> uh, in this race. I'm going to toss the favorite out. There go out speaking again. Going out on the limb. He just tossed Pletcher. I tossed him out. O-U-T. Major dude. Off the ticket. Nowhere on my top four picks, as always. Hey, the Jeff Ruby Stakes. I'm going to have a bunch of fun down in Florence, Kentucky. I'm going to be playing there all night, of course. Pick threes, pick fours, pick fives, pick anything, right? And anything goes at Turfway. So in the Jeff Ruby's at 100 points, we're going to go right outside to the number 10 horse, two fields. That's going to be our top pick. And we got Sonny Leone picking them up and laying them down, coming down the lane with congruent. And then we're going to go right inside to the two speed horses who might go gate to wire. That's right, My, uh, Makers Candy, Mike Maker, and Fantastic again, uh, Wesley Ward, the four and the five, right? So for us, in this year's Jeff Ruby, we're kicking Major Dude to the curb. We're throwing the favorite out, right? With the understanding, he has every right to win the race. He doesn't got me. So our top pick is the number 10, two fills, 10, 8, 4, 3, in that order. The big news here is... The Speed King just threw out the major dude, Ple Pletcher, and his plethora of horses. Nice horse. Don't got me. Not in this spot. 10, 8, 4, 3. Jeff Ruby, let's box it up. And let's keep two fields on top. Having a bunch of fun at my place, of course, over there in beautiful Florence, Kentucky. Turfway Park. The only place better than that is Ellis Park. I mean, the only Kentucky circuit I don't like, I can't bet, I can't do Kentucky Downs. I'm just overmatched there. That's just a fact. As always, y'all, two fills. We like the horse. We think he got a shot. With Love Barry and Rivera, uh, Ravelli doing all the conditioning from the trainer's pool. Stay classy, y'all.